Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm doing everything that I can to avoid working on the chicken coop out in the greenhouse. It just comes back to the fact that I know that it's a temporary sort of situation. Ultimately, I'm going to have to move that out to another area, um, and I just... I honestly just don't enjoy working on things that I know aren't permanent. Now I know I, if there are any Buddhists among you, I know that all is impermanent, all is in transition, we're all in a constant state of becoming, but some things are more permanent than others, and I know that that, that coop is not going to be there for very long. So um, it, it's the big challenge with it is I'm trying to uh, use the, the building supplies in a way that doesn't destroy them. I'm trying to use like the two by threes that I've got out there without cutting them. I want to use the chicken wire without cutting it. I want to make it so that I can kind of assemble a thing like Legos so that it, it can pull apart later and I've got all the pieces fresh. And it's just, it's just not very enjoyable. And the chicks are only a little over a week old, so I've got some time. So I'm procrastinating by doing other projects. Uh, what I'm working on today is, well, I've been doing a lot of different things, a lot of uh, organizing. I love organizing when I'm trying to do, uh, avoid uh, doing something. Organizing is my go-to uh, thing for when I want to avoid some kind of more irritating task. Uh, but I'm also working on getting this pantry more insulated. I recently added a CoolBot device, and we're going to talk about well, have a whole, whole separate video about that. But the CoolBot is kind of something, it's a device you can use to kind of hijack the controls on your air conditioner to make your air conditioner run more so that you can use an air conditioner to turn a space into kind of like a giant walk-in refrigerator and that's what I would like this place to ultimately sort of be uh, maybe not down to 40 degrees but I think a nice 50 degrees would be manageable uh, and one of the steps I need to do to uh, get there as you can probably guess is some more insulation I've got four inches of insulation foam on this wall down here but the wall up above the uh, uh, this big, I don't know, it's like a beam that holds up all of these floor rafters. The little section of wall above that, it's only nine inches or so. Uh, I never insulated it. It's only three quarter inches of board. So I've got these little sections, which I'm sliding in and uh, just kind of uh, making like little pillows on them. This is, this is a fourth step right here, right? Ah! And <laughs> these, are, these are official work boots too, aren't they? These little suede loafers. All right, uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of curling these little bits of uh, insulation in there. I don't tend to use uh, fiberglass in from it, insulation for much. Uh, most of what I tend to work with is urethane foam. No particular reason for that other than just the, the building system that I started off uh, learning, you know, the one that I used to build this house and my last house, uh, that those systems used urethane foam, so I've just uh, developed a level of comfort with it. So I tend to use urethane foam, but for this, because it's kind of a, it's a really awkward sort of shape in here, I thought it would make a lot more sense to uh, use uh, fiberglass to kind of just squish into the, uh, squish into the space that's there. I might cover it up with something else cosmetically later on, because fiberglass bats are kind of, I don't know, they look a little unfinished, but uh, I think that these will these will help. I uh, they're 13 inches wide. I think they're 13 inches wide, and the gap is like I mean it's barely nine inches. So I'm kind of taking them and squishing them down. And they they say they give you R13, but I figure since they're kind of squished in, they're probably going to give me a little bit better than that. But uh, yeah, I've got six of these bays to do. I've just done two of them. And uh, the other thing I, I need to do is this cloth thing here. Even though it's got like the uh, air membranes and you know these shower curtains in here it still leaks into the hot room so what I want to do is make a nice hard door that I'll have on the inside and I'll keep the cloths as uh, you know draft blockers but uh, I just really want to work on getting this place to be as insulated as possible so we can really cool it down uh, we seem to be able to hold it at like you know 62 or so but I'd love to bring it even lower than that that's it thanks for watching